Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the forecast formula for room positioning used in hotels. Forecasting is a technique that front office managers use to predict future events and trends in the business. What makes it different from intuition is the fact that it is based on historical data which is available from previous years of operations. And room positioning simply means the number of rooms available for sale on a particular date in the future. In this session, we are going to talk about the importance of forecasting formula, the calculative data required for forecasting, room availability, and we are also going to derive the forecasting formula using the forecasting data. So why forecasting is important? Let's consider this simple example. If a front office manager is aware of the number of rooms available for sale, then he can strategize his reservation strategies and make it effective. Well, if you're aware of the number of rooms available for sale, that means you are also aware of the occupancy of the hotel for that day. So the room forecasting can be used to forecast occupancy. And if the occupancy is known to be low or high, accordingly, the room pricing can be set. So the occupancy data serve as a stepping stone for room pricing. Since we also know the number of arrivals for that day, because we know the occupancy data for that day. So we can assume the traffic and accordingly the front office manager can schedule the employees so as to counter the traffic on the front desk at the day of check-in and we can it also helps to avoid revenue leakage if we are not aware of number of rooms sold on a particular date that is exactly what forecasting does then we may not be able to sell a particular number of rooms or sell it at a wrong price which will lead to loss of revenue so forecasting room revenue also assists in avoiding this loss of revenue well forecasting is not intuition as i said in the beginning it depends on the historical data so we require some data from the operations from the previous years to forecast future trends. Let's see what the data would be. We would require the total number of room arrivals or reservations expected for the particular day. We would also require the number of rooms out of order, the stayovers, we would require the number of no-shows for the particular day with, on which for which we are uh, calculating the room positioning. We would require the number of understays and the number of overstays. So let's discuss the data one by one. The number of rooms expected of arrival for that particular day on for which we are calculating the room positioning is simply the number of reservations for the particular date. Now, when we reserve a room, generally, the number of rooms are reduced from the total number of rooms available for sale. So, for forecasting purpose, we will use a negative sign for it. Number of rooms out of order. So, what does out of order mean? Due to some maintenance issues, there are certain number of rooms they, that may not be considered suitable for sale and will be blocked. So these rooms are called out of order rooms and they will not be available for sale until unless this maintenance work is done. So considering this, this will also reduce the number of rooms available for sale. So we will again use a negative sign for the purpose of forecasting here.
the percentage of no shows who are no shows these are the guests who have reservation for a particular date however they do not arrive on that particular date to occupy the rooms and did not even cancel the reservation now we can calculate percentage of no shows by dividing the number of no shows by the number of room reservations since the room will remain vacant in this case so for the purpose of forecasting we will add this the number of understays now these are people who have actually booked the room for particular duration and have a scheduled date of departure however due to certain reasons they have to leave early so they do not occupy the room till the date of their scheduled departure and check out before that now this also will keep the rooms vacant so we will add this for the forecasting purpose the number of overstays overstays are the guests who again have a scheduled departure date and time however they plan to exceed that and they stay beyond their date of check out since this will reduce the number of rooms available for that particular date so we will use a negative sign for the purpose of forecasting before we finally derive the forecasting formula there are two more things which are more important in this one is the total number of guest rooms that is always known to the people and second the number of stayovers who are stayovers now stayovers are those guests who do not have their scheduled checkout date the next day and will definitely stay for one more day without checkout so the number of stayovers are going to remove the vacant rooms so they will also be negated so let's see the forecast formula step by step along with the data so first would be the total number of guest rooms obviously this is the maximum number of rooms available in the hotel out of which we are going to calculate the number of rooms available for a particular date then we have number of out of orders rooms followed by number of stayovers that we just discussed then followed by number of reservations then followed by number of reservations multiplied by the percentage of no shows which is simply the number of no shows then the number of understays and number of overstays which will give us the number of rooms available for sale let's see how to calculate that so the formula goes like this total number of guest rooms minus number of out of order rooms minus number of room stayovers minus number of rooms reservation that is the number of expected arrivals plus the number of no shows plus the number of understays minus the number of overstays which will give us the number of rooms available for sale and hence we would be able to forecast it well before we conclude this session an important information there is a term called walk-ins these are the people who do not have a reservation however they come to the hotel for occupying a room so they register or check in directly now this term or this data is not used to calculate forecasting the reason is that the number of walk-ins a hotel accepts is based on the number of rooms available and that's what we were doing in forecasting so it doesn't make sense to include walk-ins in the number of rooms available for sale regarding the forecasting part so that's the reason walk-ins is not used so with that i'll conclude this session on forecasting formula thank you very much and stay safe